the world is moving towards a collapsed state. As wars, rumors of wars, famine, pestilence, inflations, shortage of goods and climate disasters are increasing. The signs of the birth banks are intensifying each passing day. The world events are moving towards the end times biblical prophecies. Book of Revelations is one such book, the Bible that describes the state of the world before Jesus Christ's glorious return. And the world is moving towards the time frame of the Book of Revelations Bible prophecies. As cruel days are nearing, our only hope to save ourselves is the belief in the Jesus Christ. As Yeshua promised us, evil snatch is elect, which the Bible calls it Arpaso or Rapture. So where is the rapture event mentioned in the book of Revelations? So this is the question we are going to answer in this video. Greetings brothers and sisters, knowledge is power here. So where is the rapture event mentioned in the book of Revelations? As we all know, the book of Revelations describes about all the apocalypse event happening before Jesus Christ's second coming. And God has promised He will save His faithful elect from these apocalypse by snatching the true believers of Jesus Christ to heaven. So where is the snatching away or the rapture event prophesied in the book of Revelations? So before researching the book of Revelations, Let's find out the prophecies of what happens before the rapture. So let's see Joel chapter 2 verses 31. This is what the Bible says. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. So let's further read Acts chapter 2 verses 20. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great an awesome day of the Lord. So before the coming of the Lord, the sun gets darkened and the moon turns red. So let's see what Jesus says about the rapture event. Let's read Matthew chapter 24 verses 29 to 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So before Jesus Christ snatching his faithful elect to the heaven, this is what happens. The sun will be darkened, the moon will turn to blood, the stars fall from heaven, the son of man on the clouds with power and great glory, the great trumpet sound, and finally the angels are sent to gather his elect from the four winds. So let's see where these events are mentioned in the book of Revelations. So the first one is the sun will be darkened. Let's see Revelations chapter 6 verses 12. This is what the Bible says. I looked when he opened the sixth seal and behold there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of air. So sun becomes black. So Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 parallels the rapture event. So the next one is the moon turns blood. So again let's read Revelation chapter 6 verses 12. And the moon became like blood. So let's put a tick mark. So the first two points are mentioned in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12. So let's see the third one. So before the rapture, the stars fall from heaven. So let's see Revelation chapter 6 verses 13. And the stars of the heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs 
when it is when it is shaken by a mighty wind so let's put a tick mark so there are three tick marks so far so let's see the fourth one the son of man on the clouds with power and great glory this is what bible says in revelation chapter 16 verses 15 to 16 and the kings of the earth the great men the rich men the commanders the mighty men every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall us on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb so verse 16 says that all the great men are hiding from the face of Jesus who sits on the throne so is Jesus sitting on a throne before the rapture event look at what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 26 verse 64 it is as you said Nevertheless, I say to you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. So that's it. Let's put a tick mark on, on point number four or the rapture event of number four. And let's see the fifth one. The great trumpet sound. So we will discuss this point in the end. So let's see the final one happening before the rapture event the sixth one is the angels are sent to gather his elect from the four winds let's see revelation chapter 7 verses 1 after these things i saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth so angels assemble in the four winds of the heaven in revelation chapter 7 verses 1 Let's further read Revelation chapter 7 verses 9 to 10. And after these things I looked and behold a great multitude which no one could count number of all nations, tribes, peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before the lamp clothed with white rope with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice saying salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the lamp. So the angels gathered the elect from the four winds which is mentioned in Revelation chapter 7 verses 1 and they are all gathered to meet the Lord in Revelation chapter 7 verses 9 to 10. So let's put a tick mark. So, so all the events mentioned about the rapture is described in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to the Revelation chapter 7. So what about the great trumpet sound? The fifth point which is mentioned about a great trumpet sound. So let's first read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 to 52. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised incorruptibly, and we shall be changed. So this trumpet sound which Jesus blows is a mystery. It is a mystery according to 1st Corinthians. It is a mystery and it, and it will be not be revealed to any prophets or saints. And that's why the trumpet sound is not mentioned. Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to Revelation chapter 7. So the, f so the fifth point which is the trumpet sound even. It is a mystery according to the Bible and it will be not be revealed. But look at all the other events. The sun will be darkened, the moon to blood. The stars fall from heaven, the Son of Man on the clouds with the power and great glory, and the angels are sent to gather his elect from the four winds. Everything is mentioned in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to chapter 7 of Revelations. So many will have a question, hey brother, Bible clearly states First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 9, believers are not appointed to wrath. This is what I would like to say. Yes, we are not appointed to wrath. Again, Revelation chapter 6 verse 17 clearly states, The great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? So Bible clearly says, after the sixth seal, then starts the wrath of God. So it's crystal clear, brothers and sisters, that the rapture event 
uh, or the snatching the elect is mentioned in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to Revelation chapter 7. And look at the events before the rapture and its parallel verses in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to Revelation chapter 7. So where is the rapture even mentioned in the book of Revelations? We got the answer. It is mentioned in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to Revelation chapter 7. So if there is any query about these topics, please post your comments. Let's have an interactive session in the comment box. God's name be glorified. Alright brothers and sisters, take care. See you soon. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Marnada.